I want to show you a really slick method for attaching substituents directly to a benzene ring. When you have an NH2 group on the ring, that can be transformed into something called a diazonium salt using nitrous acid. The sodium nitrite in HCl is a way of making nitrous acid. It's important to keep the reaction cold because diazonium salts are not stable. And after you've made the diazonium salt, you treat it with a reagent and replaces that N2 plus with some substituent, which I've shown as Z. I've shown a list of seven things that Z can be any of the four halogens, cyanide, hydroxyl, even hydrogen. But to use this approach, you need to be able to put the NH2 group on the ring. Well, no problem. We know how to do that. Nitro groups can be reduced using 10 and HCl to make the aniline. Well, you need to be able to put a nitro group on the benzene ring then, and again, no problem. Treatment of the aromatic ring with nitric acid together with sulfuric acid puts the NO2 group on the ring. So there's a four-step sequence, putting the NO2 group on, reducing it, oxidizing it to the diazonium salt, and then treating with the reagent. Well, what's left to tell you is what the magic reagents are, and I've put them in a table. In the left column, I've shown the substituents that you can put on the ring, and on the right column, I show the reagents that you use to do that. Let me show you a couple examples of using this approach to make substituted benzenes. You can start with nitrobenzene and reduce it to make aniline. When aniline is treated with the standard conditions used to put chlorine on the ring, you get para substitution along with some ortho. We'll purify the mixture to get the para compound and then make the diazonium salt followed by treatment with CUCN. This puts the cyano group directly on the ring and because we put the chlorine on the ring when there was an ortho para director attached to it, the chlorine ends up in the para position. On the other hand, look at this. If we chlorinate nitrobenzene, now we have a meta director attached to the ring and we end up with metachloronitrobenzene. Then we can do the reduction, and then replace the NH2 group with CN, and now we have the meta-substituted product. We ended up with the para-substituted product when we chlorinated the aniline, which is an orthopara director. When we chose to put the chlorine on with a meta director attached to the ring, we get the other substitution. Use of diazonium salts is a very powerful technique for controlling the regiochemistry of disubstituted benzenes. Here's another example. Again, starting with nitrobenzene, it's reduced to aniline, and in this synthesis, we'll immediately replace the NH2 group. We first make the diazonium salt, and then simply treat with water to put the OH on the ring. Now the OH is an orthopara director itself. So when we carry out a chlorination reaction in this case, we'll get the parachlorophenol. We'd make some ortho byproduct, which we'd have to separate out. But we can put these substituents on in a different order. If we chlorinate the nitrobenzene, we get metachloronitrobenzene, and then reduce, making metachloroaniline, and then replace the NH2 group to make the phenol. In the first sequence, we'll make parachlorophenol. In the second sequence, we'll make metachlorophenol. Again, we're doing the reactions in the order that lets us dictate the regiochemistry to be either para or meta. And finally, I've been talking about planning organic syntheses and showing the sequence from beginning to end. But the very best way to plan an organic synthesis is to use the retrosynthetic planning approach. Using this approach, we'll focus on the compound we want to make, which we call a target, and we'll keep in mind what we want to start from. Let's say we want to make this from benzene. We need to think of all the precursors that we might use to make this compound. And for aromatic compounds, we simply need to consider which substituents we can attach to the ring. For example, we should consider the precursor where the benzene sulfonic acid group was attached, but we don't have the cyano group. We should also consider the precursor that just has the cyano group attached. And finally, because we know we can put the cyano group on using an NH2 group, we should consider that precursor also. Let's look at each one of these. Using benzene sulfonic acid as a precursor has two problems. First and foremost, this is a meta director. So when we attach substituents to the ring, they go at this position, not the pair position that we want. 
Of course, in addition, we don't know any chemistry that attaches a cyanogroup group directly to the ring. So we can rule this guy out. Look at the next one. We do know our reaction will put the SO3H group directly on the ring, but the cyanogroup group is a metadirector, so we have to rule out this precursor too. Fortunately, we know chemistry that transforms the NH2 group to the cyano group, so this is a reasonable precursor. Now we need to figure out what precursors could be used to make this compound. Well, we should consider both of these guys. Again, the benzene sulfonic acid group is a metadirector. We are going to have to rule out the use of this compound to make the paramino benzene sulfonic acid. But the NH2 group is an orthopara director. It's what we need. We'll have to purify the para product, getting rid of any ortho that's formed. But we can use this anilin as a precursor. And we know that we can make anilin from nitrobenzene, and we can make nitrobenzene from benzene. So this is a good synthetic route. All that's left now is to plan the actual synthesis, including reagents, from start to finish. Take a look. Nitric acid and sulfuric acid will nitrate the aromatic ring to make nitrobenzene from benzene. We'll reduce the NO2 group using 10 and HCl to make aniline. Using SO3 and sulfuric acid attaches the benzene sulfonic acid group to the ring and then we can use nitrous acid to diacetize the molecule and cuprocyanide to put the nitrile group on. Using diazonium salts is a powerful way to put substituents on a ring. Using the retrosynthetic analysis planning approach is the best way to plan a synthesis to take advantage of the diazonium chemistry.